I could stay awake just to hear you breathing. Watch you smile while you are sleeping. While you fall far away dreaming. I could spend my life in this sweet surrender. <laughs> what was that? I don't want to fall asleep. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Call my friends, cause listen, baby. I don't want to call my I friends. Don't call my friends. <laughs> but I don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the No Chaser Podcast. We back in the studio. Oh my God, it's lit. I know some of y'all like the backyard uh, situation better, but fuck that. Who cares? This shit's free, and I was paying for the backyard, so we back in the studio. And guess what? First of all, we got Shannon Boudram yeah. back in the studio with us. Because hey. even when I call me. my friends, <laughs> <laughs> they don't pick up the phone. And uh, secondly, guess what? This is airing on Nikki Blaze's birthday. Hey. Give it up for Nikki Blaze. Hey. Wow. And guess what? On the day of shooting, it is my it's birthday. It's your actual hey. birthday. Hey. Wow. Hey. Wow. This is a Can wrap. I- can I ask a question thing. to the Chasers Nation? Yeah. Oh, that's oh we, we never them. called we, them that before. Never <laughs> named them. But that, there it is. Chaser Nation. What's good? Okay. Chaser rights. Work with me. No, no. Chaser Nation was way better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're chasing people. Um, if it's someone's birthday and they invite you to do something, anything, shouldn't they notify you, hey, it's my birthday? <laughs> Absolutely not. No, no. You should. I think that's really lame on somebody. Shit, hey, I don't think it's lame come, at all. Come to my podcast. By the way, it's my birthday. Bring me something. Per, no, <laughs> they're not saying that. They're just like, hey, bring an energy that says it's my special day. I this cause this this wasn't intended to be a this is my birthday episode. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's your birthday. It's bizarre that I arrived here. First of all, I came late. Disrespectful. It's on, it's on your day. And then I made you buy me food. I sure did. And then I got here and you said, by the way, it's my special. I said, why are we wearing a onesie? <laughs> Is there, is there a theme that I'm missing? And you said, yeah, it's a celebration of my life. Yeah. You should have told me in advance. Chaser rights. Would that have made you show up on time and eat before you came? It would have 100%. 100%. <laughs> no, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Because it, it, it's, it's, this isn't a, like me buying you a salad isn't about my birthday. It's about how much of an amazing person I am. Yeah, it was a big salad. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of calories it's in about, that salad. It's about me being a great person without having to feel that I need acknowledgement. Yeah, even on his birthday, even he does on, things for others. That's yeah. really that's and I and I up. sat back and I let you bring that up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that's how humble I am. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you so much. I, and, and you just bring being here with us is present enough, Shannon Boudram. Your presence. Is, is the present, present. Yes. yes. People say that, but when you leave, they talk behind your back with their spouse, and they'd be like, they didn't bring fucking anything. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just you and Jared. Uh, yeah. I think oh, I definitely you and Jared do. do that. Somebody, yeah, I'm 100%. <laughs> Speaking of which, how does it feel to finally be on a podcast that's not with your husband? Jeez. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm on a lot of podcasts, guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually pretty pop in the podcast world. <laughs> She's like, it's just to let thing. you know. Let you know. Yes, I'm on uh, at least three actually, pods a week. Yeah. Only been on his one Speaking time, of which, boy. actually, do you know that this is like a weird energy here for me? Why? Because I had a podcast with Cast. Oh, I know. And they kicked me off. <laughs> but guess who picked me up? Who? Sirius. Starting oh. in July. Oh, oh damn. Okay. She said, Not missing flex. you. Wow. It's all good. Yeah, say that on the trash way out. The we don't talk about so yeah. here. But we still here. <laughs> I'd like to get paid still. Facts. So. I'm still negotiating <laughs> my contract. Thank you. So. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Uh, well, hot. well, congratulations. Congrats <laughs> to that. Um, and this is, uh, well, oh, shit, let's talk about that. You got a new podcast you're working on or what? I do, yeah. What's starting it called? It, it's, um, it's called Lovers and Friends tentatively right now. Oh, tell me yeah. again. Lovers and Friends? Tell me again. Oh, tell me oh my again. goodness. <laughs> not just humble, not? smart, How quick, not? witty. <laughs> just <laughs> just um, an incredible life. When, when, <laughs> when does that uh, kick off? It kicked off in July. So it's actually the, it's a, anyways, it's a business thing. It's going to take a while, but Work. it's a, I've been, you know, guesting on pods for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it's like my big opportunity to like try and do it for myself. So I'm cool. excited. When do I get my contract? 
Oh, I mean, day one. You know, okay. you and me, oh. there's something. We have unfinished business. Yeah. Oh, Poon and the Peen. We have a lot of unfinished Poon business. Poon and the Peen should have been peen. a podcast. Yes. We, we dropped I the also on owe you a hand job one day. <laughs> you, this is true. <laughs> I'm sorry. I what? don't know if it's if, what, if what it can happen now, <laughs> but this is true. One day. I said one yeah. day. It's just, it's like you an know, open. You know we never said that on Poon and the Peen, right? The people don't know. I feel like we said it the last time I was a guest on here. Uh, no, wait, real oh, quick. We cut, we cut that out. Yeah, uh, okay, so yeah. Be, before we move on, is this something we're elaborating on or are we cutting that? Um, We can elaborate on the origins. Let's talk about the origins, which was before Jared and before Tway. Let's talk about the origins yes. of this hand job. Go. Okay, go, Shannon. I don't actually recall. I just know maybe I told you that I can give, I do give exceptional hand jobs. And I do she actually claims. believe in my hand job game. And I know that you are a hand job a hand aficionado. Job yeah. <laughs> yes. So it was more, it was, I wouldn't say a challenge, but it was like, okay, put your money where your mouth is. Uh, put, your, put your hand. Put my dick where your, where your <laughs> yeah. hand is. Yeah. Put, yeah. Type of put, thing. put your hand where your mouth should be. <laughs> <laughs> That's the saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of those. And then it just uh, never happened. So yeah. you were, you nagged her. As they say, uh-huh. <laughs> where? Oh no, no, no! I, I never he said. Didn't try to shit I don't think I, psh, with those hands. Psh, you know, I didn't do one of that. You. I was just like, All right, well, shit. Let me see. Right, right, right. And she was like, one day, and I was like, all right, cool. And then we finished our pod, not podcast, our yeah. video. And then it never happened. Oh, is that the technique? Yeah. Well, I do that. So I do a little thumb on the back. Don't like that part. part. You don't like the swoop over? Yeah. Do it again. Show, show us again. It's an up and then back and then around and then back. Okay, but obviously and, this is lubed up. Oh, of yeah. course. But you know what? My friend Rick does not enjoy lube. Here's the thing. So we, it would be dry. We've talked dry about beats. this yeah. many times. Uh, Rick and I, you know, um, I, I also uh, a man who enjoys a good hand job. Okay. But the thing about it is a good hand job is rare. Mm-hmm. Um, and the thing about the, the mistake that I feel like many women's make or men if you're if you're a man giving a hand job mm-hmm. uh is that i mean I, but if you're a guy giving a hand yeah, job you, you're you probably would. giving a great hand yeah. job <laughs> more than likely, more than likely. Yeah. i think the women's they'll 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 go they'll go aggressive and they'll go from the the body to the head in one swoop without the lubrication uh mm. and the, here's the thing it's like what if you're already lubed up and they just take it on their travels then, then that, oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Then that's 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 good. But the thing is, what what Rick and I have always talked about is that you don't necessarily need lubrication to do it right because a lot of times, me like uh, I will do the I, I don't use lube when I jack off. Yeah. Because it's all about the manipulation of the foreskin properly. Yeah. Um, and, and the way it kind of uh hugs your actual. Peen, you know what I'm saying? Are you uncircumcised though? I am circumcised, but yeah. it still okay. works if you maneuver it right. Yeah. You feel me? Um, and Rick is uncircumcised as well. Uh, no, I'm circumcised. Yeah, that's what I meant. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. That's what I meant. <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, tell us, how did you learn that you were good at these hand jobs, Shampoo Dram? Well, I talked to a lot of people about sex, and then I've heard what other people are doing, and I know I'm doing something different. I've also mm-hmm. learned, I've gone to workshops before. So I've taken an invested interest in being great at it. And You've I've, gone to hand job workshops? I've gone to how to please a man workshops. We, we went to a sex convention once. Yes. And she got on stage to uh, demonstrate on fruit. It's pretty weird. It was pretty, it was pretty how to weird. give a good hand job or a blowy? I, what was it? I can't. Remember? I don't know. It was, it was a carrot. It was, it was one of those. So it was, was a like, carrot. It's but a like carrot. This, a fr- actually, a fruit. I don't know if it was a hand thing or a mouth thing. <laughs> okay, but I try to learn. I, yeah. I try to throw myself into it as a student, which yeah. makes me feel confident that I could be a good executor for people. Uh, but you don't know till you try, which is where we left off last. Yeah. I mean, also like a lot of dudes. Like I mean, dudes are different too. I mean, when when me and Rick have talked about the dry beats. Um, a lot of dudes will look at us crazy yeah. sometimes. What's up, y'all? So you know COVID spring break is right around the corner, and you know what that means. Spring break in your pantalones. Manscaped is here to ensure that the party in your pants never stops, all right? Even Veronica Corningstone wouldn't say no to this pants party. That's an Anchorman reference, and I'm just talking off the top of my head right now. For everyone preparing for a pants party this spring break, I have an exclusive 20% off discount if you use code NOCHASER20 at manscaped.com. Okay, now check this out. Check this out. It's so lit because Manscaped is dedicated to helping you level up to your full body grooming game, all right? The perfect
Quick Package 3.0 kit comes with the essential Lawnmower 3.0, waterproof, cordless body trimmer, and a ton of other liquid formulations to round out your grooming routine. Wow. Say it backwards. Wow. Be sure to use their Crop Cleanser Body Wash to keep your hair and skin feeling healthy and fresh. All right? And inside the perfect package, you'll also find the Manscaped Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. Now, we all get musty balls sometimes, and you don't want it when you're at spring break, and some young, young sexy lady wants to potentially orally please you in a Taco Bell, all right? And, and... <laughs> The, that ball deodorant is an anti-shaping ball deodorant and moisturizer because we know how painful shaving can be when you're wearing your bathing suit all day. All right? Now, personally, I do use the Manscaped trimmer. I use it to, to, to shave my pubes in the shower. And, you know, your boy likes to keep it looking real kempt down there. And Manscaped is the key, all right? For a limited time, subscribers get two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag, um, and the patented high performance reduced shaping manscape boxers. All right, get 20% off plus free shipping with the code NOCHASER20 at manscape.com. Do yourself a favor and always use the right tools for the job. It's fascinating. So, I had a show called Sexology. Tim, you were a guest on it. Our episode never aired. <laughs> yeah, because RIP uh, Quibi. RIP Quibi. Yeah. <laughs> and which was fucked up because one of the producers was like, Tim, let's get you a show on Quibi. Yes. <laughs> And, and I, was I like, told oh, you it yes. was. Listen, I, people didn't watch it, but my pockets. <laughs> I bet um, it was That's loving. Funny. It was a loving time. But we did an entire episode about something called death grip, which I wasn't familiar with before. Do you guys know about death grip? No. It's where um, a person with a penis jacks themselves off so aggressively because they're essentially trying to come as quick as possible, which usually happens if they're in a home where masturbation is really shunned. Mm. So they do it so hard that no one else can mimic that kind of pressure. Mm. And as a result, they have a very hard time orgas orgasming with a partner. Oh, wow. Interesting. It's very interesting. Interesting. Uh, I, I never experienced that just because, uh, you know, I always took my time when I was jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're an only child, that's yeah, why. exactly. He wasn't worried about nobody. Exactly. When I was well, <laughs> when I first discovered jerking off, right? Um, when I first got my my nut by myself, mm -hmm. I was like, "Wow, this is a whole new universe. I've transcended my current universe, and I've <laughs> gone into another plane." You know what I'm saying? Because it was like, as soon as my mom closed the door to take a shit for 20 minutes <laughs> your, your boy was fucking the couch it was like the couch was calling my name you know what i'm saying and it was like i took every opportunity to get my nut off if ever my dad was going to the grocery store if my mom was taking a shit because my mom takes long shits as well as i do i think i got it from her um but it was like you know but then as i got older actually and i was jerking off you know maybe in high school i did in my mind was like maybe i shouldn't rush my jacking off because maybe that'll make me just bust quicker when i'm actually having mm. sex so i had to I, I actually was like telling myself yo slow it down enjoy this so you it's not so much a like bam 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 bus situation yeah. you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying so i think that that's a me. very elevated thought to have in high school kudos <laughs> you know <laughs> you're like for my future wife <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't playing no sports. I was just uh, <laughs> I didn't have other skills. All, all my free time went to this. Yeah, you, I gotta was, you know what I'm saying? I was a theater kid memorizing lines and when I wasn't memorizing lines, I was just, you know, I was watching porn. I was I would get home and this was this was way back, right? So internet wasn't fast back then. So here's what I would do, bro. It was such a struggle, dog. Let me tell you, back at the old apartment in Paramount, mm -hmm. I would go, I would go to Bang Bros. <laughs> I would, and I, I used to have the thing, this thing where I would always shower after school, okay? Mm -hmm. I would take a shit, I would shower, I would jack off. So my, my routine was I would get home <laughs> from school, I would go to Bang Bros, <laughs> load up a trailer because the yeah, trailers paying, yeah. to load up would still take a good 40 minutes, right? <laughs> For a two-minute trailer. I would pause, load up the trailer, <laughs> turn on the water, give that a good five to ten minutes to warm up <laughs> and then i would take my shower come back feeling fresh and jerk off to this two minute trailer mm -hmm. because i was home alone and that was when i had my time to myself and that was my daily routine oh wow that's self-care it's necessary Pretty that much. really is a self-care routine yeah. yeah uh nikki blades <laughs> yes how about you and and how are how would you rate your hand job giving skills 
I have no complaints, but I also know that I. But live, nobody really complains. I, was just about I, I mean, to say but that. at the same time, we have conversations. My partners and I, we've mm. had conversations. I do lift weights, so <laughs> I use lotion. You are not getting. Oh, any, you, know, you are not. Getting. I thought you were giving me the, the death grip thing. No, like these are some yeah. strong hands. No, 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 no. This is the. I understand. I want to make them as soft as possible. Right. I'm paying attention. I'm look. Yeah. I'm same thing. Well, I've done a lot of research. I like. I've always. Can liked, I touch your hands? Yeah, they feel they're like pretty, they're they're pretty like soft. Oh, they're yeah, they're very soft. Yeah, not I take, as soft as mine, but they're soft. <laughs> <laughs> I use my hands. I just lotioned up two these, seconds ago. This is working hands, okay? So, but yes, I I use lotion because I don't want to. I mean, I don't know how I'd feel if um I was with somebody that enjoyed a rough hand, which I feel like some people do enjoy. Would you enjoy okay. a rough hand? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is the part that a lot of women don't know. And I guess men don't know how to express. I'm just now learning. Maybe we need to express it different. It shouldn't be sliding mm -hmm. when the hand is dry. It's a grip and it's the skin you're well, moving. I've the dealt inside of the skin, that's where the, the lube is. My, my, I, I've had partners that are uncircumcised. So, so I do understand what you're talking about and what it feels like. The grip and the difference between lotion and the skin. And even if there is lotion on, you can still have enough grip on it yeah. to where you are still feeling the skin move versus just like yeah. sliding But I'm around. saying, if you're doing it right, we're not going to feel your calluses. <laughs> Well then, may, well, then maybe I'm going into it just self-consciously and wanting to yeah. give that experience no, which a, is little great. Of, a little yeah. bit of a little bit of there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, yeah, soft, but then at the same time, um, enough tension or you know, gripping strong enough to feel the difference between just like lotion and it's just slippery. Yeah. And then also, you know, that's what your mouth is for, and you can use that as well and spit. But then and you those get lotion taste in your mouth. I, well, I know. I feel I so am, bad. I yeah. am committed. <laughs> if, if I decide to grab the lotion, I already know there's a bunch of different things that might be going on and yeah. into here. So the lotion is the least of my problem. Which also, is beautiful. Coconut, coconut oil is a really great lubricant for giving hand jobs. And there we go. And then it's nice, and it also it's a teeth whitener. Look at that. Oh, we can oil wow. pull at the same time. Wow. Oh, two for one. Let's let's highlight that <laughs> for anybody out there. Coconut oil, lubricant, as well as a teeth whitener. Whitening. And how's yeah. it taste? Like coconut, like coconut? coconut oil. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> wow. I did not think I had to answer that question to a Thai person. I mean, you, <laughs> I mean we, we're not putting coconut oil in our, in our dishes. <laughs> but that's lit to know. Thank you guys for that um, for that information. Okay, and, and here's, I'm going to say this too. It's like... I, I'm not, I, I enjoy a good lotioned up hand job as well. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm like, ew, yeah, like this feels weird yeah. with the lotion. It's just that like, it's not necessarily necessary it, right. if the hand well, job is done right. Okay, yeah. let's just be honest. Whenever that's coming into play, I'm not reaching for lotion. I'm going in, I'm gonna spit, and I'm gonna use that, and it's gonna be a combination between mouth, and there's a lot going on. But if I was, I've never been asked to just give a hand job. See, and, th and that's <laughs> the thing right there. So when you're a dude who genuinely enjoys hand jobs, okay. that might be a request sometimes. Okay. So when it's like, you're gonna give me a hand job, that's it. That's mm -hmm. what we're agreed upon. All the oils and the lotions and shit yeah. is kind of like, Meh. It's not if, if it's just foreplay, uh -huh. if it's going to lead to some sex, then lube it up. <laughs> but but if you want me to finish, yeah, if this I'm, is if the I'm routine. Finish, yeah. But you know what I've actually heard people say a lot is that I know how to give myself a hand job. I've been doing it for 20 years in the right. game. I have a very particular way. Mm -hmm. So isn't it nice when someone comes in with a different method? Um, It's, it's cool. Have you tried a sex toy like, before with hand jobs? Yes. Um, I prefer. Have you tried the, the Tenga eggs? What is that? You put the egg up your butt and then you jack. <laughs> <laughs> Although that would Shannon, be nice. Shannon that loves would be to nice. try to make you do butt stuff. I like. No, that's not what that is. Listen, <laughs> it's nice to expand your realm of pleasure she if you're interested. Constantly wants guys to do butt stuff <laughs> to themselves. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make but sense. Have you tried it? <laughs> Okay, but you won't know until you try. I mean, you tried and you didn't like it? That's true. Okay, well, did you try it again? <laughs> I've given out a lot of butt plugs as gifts before and that's, gotten great reviews from people. That's what you were going to get for you. That's why you didn't tell her it was your birthday because you didn't want to oh, get a butt plug I for your birthday. I didn't want her to give me a butt plug because then, no, I definitely wouldn't have tried it. I'm, I'm, I'm with Rick um, in terms of like, hey, here's the thing. I'm, I'm the type of person who's like, hey, man. How do you know, especially with food, I'm like, how do you know unless you've tried it, right? Mm. But I'm still not putting nothing on my butt. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. 
and I won't know. <laughs> Skillshare. Now, y'all know Skillshare has sponsored the show many times, and here's what's beautiful, right? No matter what 2021 brings, you can spend it creating something meaningful with Skillshare's online classes because time is what we make of it. Now, I'm just talking off the top of my head here. With Skillshare, you can find inspiration in the moment and learn how to express your creativity, all right? Now, now here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. In my own words, I just want to talk about a specific Skillshare class that I've taken that interests me and really, really, really just piqued my interest, all right? Now, y'all know I'm trying to make movies. I'm trying to be in movies, which is why classes on Skillshare like Filmmaking on a Budget, Tips for Achieving a Cinematic Look by Simon Cade is perfect for me because, you know, it really helps me when I'm doing my own little independent films when I'm doing my thing on YouTube, you know, maybe he has some, some tips for me that can help me take it next level. You know what I'm saying? Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning, with so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives. Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth, okay? Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops, and annual subscription is less than $10 a month. I mean, come on, guys. And just for you guys, if you go to Skillshare.com slash no chaser, you get a free trial of premium membership. Okay, that's Skillshare.com slash no chaser for a free trial of premium membership. Whoa, say it backwards. Whoa, what about that's anal what beads? No, I, why? here's the thing, and, I, and, I, and I've talked about this before, and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm all for exploring what gives you pleasure, right? And exploring mm. the different parts of your body in different ways and whatnot. Um, I just I poop so much. And I just, do you enjoy it? <laughs> do I enjoy a good bowel movement? Yes, I do. But not sexually. But it's never like <laughs> but you don't know. But <laughs> but I am. I but it, I poop so much. I'm just not. I don't think I'd ever get comfortable associating my butt with like pleasure. You feel me? It's just I just don't think I could get there. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I don't see anything wrong with it. Right. But I feel like it has to come from a point of. I'm not getting pleasure. I need to try something new. Mm. If you can get the pleasure, why do you want me to try stuff with my butt? You're like the I person know how who's to like steak pleasure. and potatoes every day. No, I like this food. No. <laughs> it's just I can do a bunch of different things, and I enjoy all of them. I don't need to do that one thing. <laughs> it's that simple. But also... Um, you know, me and Rick differentiate in terms of like, I also, you know, I enjoy a great hand job, but if I was in a situation where I was canoodling with a lady and I was getting a hand job, I would much rather be like, uh, and then put your mouth on it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. See, for me, it's only if it's not great. If it's great, I'm like, let's see where this goes. Right. If it's like mediocre, I'm like, okay, now let's try something different. Oh, <laughs> well, that's important to know. So if yeah. you try to switch it up, that means you got like a C to a B yeah. on this project. Yeah. I like to do a full body massage and end with a hand job. Um, that's fucking great. And uh, illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was Found saying, that out the hard way. <laughs> Rick, do you like the visual aspect of it? Do you like watching? Does that play a part in it yes. as well? Okay. It, it's like, it's definitely a mental thing too okay. because a girl giving you a hand job is a girl just trying to please you. Mm -hmm. She's getting nothing go. out of it. Uh -huh. facts. But if she is getting something out of it, that's even more dope because it's like, damn, you enjoy pleasing. <laughs> you know uh, what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah, it's that little selfish it makes sense. My time type thing. Yeah. To throw this in there, because I had uh, Amber was over the other day, and oh. Amber is a lesbian, and mm. Amber gets orgasms from giving other people oral. She then, gets orgasms, like actual orgasms. That's yes. cool as fuck. But I know a lot of lesbians, specifically lesbians who are more masculine centered, who have that experience. But I'm like, I don't know a single, you know, cis heterosexual man who's like, I come from just eating a girl out. Um, no, but there's certain times where how turned on she is turns you on more. Yeah, when you're doing enough that. to like, oh, come. no, 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 you can't, okay. never, not, not there. Yeah. Like I definitely <laughs> not that hard. Uh, unless unless yeah. you like. Fucking grind, grind in the bed. Why you oh, doing that? <laughs> so there still has to be something yeah. to it. You just can't. Yeah. Without like I, I definitely like I, I enjoy going down a lot. Right. To like to the point where like um, back in the day <laughs> there was definitely, you know, if I if I thought a girl was was like attractive enough, I'd be like, yo, I, I'm down to just go down on you. 
and <laughs> and that's and that's cool. We could just do that and then grab some food and then you know we could chill. You know what I'm saying? Like if and that's what it was, right? Um, but it was <laughs> just because I enjoyed it and also it's it's almost like a power thing. You know what I'm saying? Where you feel like you are doing this to her and and then when you feel this girl like going crazy and like thrusting her hips into you it's like it's like you feel like wow i'm really i'm i'm like i'm killing this shit you know what i'm saying but <laughs> did i ever nut from it never <laughs> <laughs> never <laughs> never <laughs> but it's still a good time yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think i ever could because i don't think i'm great at it so i'm focused <laughs> I, I can't focus on my shit down here. Like, oh, I've orgasmed from working? giving oral, but only because I read in a magazine that the holy grail of giving oral is when you also give yourself like a hand job, for lack of a better term. Mm. What, do, what do women That's call cool. um, DJing? Uh, Masturbating? Self pleasuring? Yeah. Jilling off. Jilling well, off. Jilling off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But a lot of girls just say they jack off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would ask for their hands. I would ask for the no 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 your own hands no 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 but I, no but I'm saying like I similar to Rick like I've asked for just the hands before oh, that yeah. it was that good that I was yes. like that is it you are great don't put your mouth just do what you do you are phenomenal at it that is what I want and then whatever else after then I'm good to go and you then similarly it's very rare to come across somebody who is amazing at oh hands. my god you know what's and crazy when you find them you. You, well, you know, other <laughs> things happen. You can't keep them. But. You know what's crazy is I, I've had a girl <laughs> slap my hands away before because she was like, I don't like hands. Everybody's I don't different. like your hands. No. She was like. That's what she meant. Because <laughs> yeah, no. good hands Tim are good never going to believe that. No. Ever. I'm not. It's never because, him. It's because, never because, him. No. Like, I am great at everything. Especially <laughs> since. Well, I'm, not, I'm definitely not great at everything. But. <laughs> I know exactly what happened that could not be possible. <laughs> I have beautiful hands. <laughs> you don't. That does not matter. <laughs> but it's your birthday, so I do. you do. Okay. No, I do. My, my, my fingers He's aren't like, long, <laughs> but my hands are great. Oh. Um, but she. And, and also, I always keep my fingernails super trimmed super clean uh but she was just like nah I don't, I don't like the hand shit she's like just put your mouth on me don't give me no hands and i was like oh well, shit right. she said it, don't <laughs> fucking touch me gross ass eat it she was like don't touch me with your clean ass hands i like fingernails motherfucker oh my, i was just gonna say first off your nails have nothing to do with the outside portion of what's happening that does not that's why lesbian like look the nail the length of the nails de determine on whether you're going know. in exactly. or not nah see sí, pero Pads look your pero, no, pero, no, no, pero no. mira 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 I mean, mira tell girls no, 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 <laughs> no, no. Are you, so, are you telling me? Are you telling me that <laughs> a dude's dirty fingernails? No, no, that. No, she's talking about you said length. Length. Oh, you, you oh, mentioned oh, oh. length, which I was saying that lets me know that you are worried about a lot of other things going on versus oh, no. what she probably likes. I was, I was, what, I, I thought Rick. I thought that's what Rick was trying to say. No, no. Rick is on the same page. We all hear yeah. you. Oh, there. okay. I'm, I'm listening to the latest. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm not I'm great here. at it. Right. No. Okay, well then, well then I have amazing hands, and everything you're saying is irrelevant because my hands are great. <laughs> because if because if your point was not about the length of my fingers, then my hands are fucking great. No, no the, the length point of your finger is nails. That you are worried She's about saying, the wrong thing. Why are you mentioning how short your nails are when your nails don't matter? Oh, because the longer the nails are, the dirty, the more bacteria is prone to get under the nails. Long nails do matter. They, I will say that. They do. They do matter. For but insertion. For um, insertion. You can have outside. long nails and not be dirty. Yes. yes. <laughs> Pero look, mijo. No, I get, I get yeah. what you're saying. You're <laughs> just wrong. <laughs> Am I though? A little yeah. bit. So, okay. Shannon's not going to say it because it's your birthday, it's your but listen birthday. to I Nicholas. <laughs> I feel okay. like, as somebody who has been with women before, I am telling you that the length of the nails, if you are going inside, yes, that's what they are thinking about, which they are very well aware of before yes. you even get close to the region. Side note, she already peeped your hands. So, yes. but if she is asking, which what I was mentioning mm -hmm. is the outside. When I ask for hands, it's the outside, it's the stimulation. They are good, the speed, the pressure, all of it, good but never once goes inside of me. Yeah. So the length of your nails do not matter if I'm able to come that way. Yeah. So while you're right, longer nails can trap more dirt. What she's <laughs> saying is girls don't look at your fingers and say, oh, his nails are long, I don't want him to touch me, unless they're dirty. <laughs> we all agree. Yes. Sure. <laughs> we're, we're all saying yes, the same we thing. Do. Yes. We're not, but sure. <laughs> okay, well, no, 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 let's talk about this. Okay. <laughs> what am I disagreeing with you on? You're saying your nails being short is appealing in some way. She's saying that doesn't mean anything. You're saying the length of the nails mean it's easier to get bacteria. Yeah. She's saying we're not thinking about that unless they're visibly dirty. Okay. So 
you saying I keep my nails short. Okay. Says to her, you're worried about the wrong things and probably not great at giving hand to ladies. That okay. was extremely well saying, summarized. <laughs> okay. So are you, okay. So <laughs> are, are, as women's, are you saying that when you look at male fingernails, um, if you're looking at the length of their fingernails, that does not have a difference. Well, that does not change um, whether or not you would let a man put his fingers inside you. Inside, yes, yeah. that's what she said. Inside said. is a different conversation. Then we're versus... then we're saying the same thing. No, because she's talking about the outside, which most women want when they ask for a hand. And I know, and I realize that, and I and I realize that, like you know, uh, there is uh, the diddling on the outside, and there's also the fingering. I'm just saying, in general, if you see a dude with long ass, dirty ass nails, you're probably more prone to be turned off from him putting his fingers. Dirt, on you at all. I feel like the nails, larger yes. point here though is if you had a partner who said no to hands, it was probably no to yo hands because everybody likes hands. They like their own hands, but the person whose hands is handling them may not be their cup of tea. So like just try something different. Right. And then when you had mentioned the length of your nails and the girl pushing it away, I was like, oh no, love, that's probably not what the problem was. Okay. So let's ask you this. Okay. Um okay. what was the problem? I didn't have a problem. I, no, no. I'm sorry. Wait. So, uh, Rick. We're talking my hands. Rick. 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 Okay, so Rick. what she was thinking, Rick. we don't know. No, no, no. no, no. Let, let's, I didn't push your hands away. No, no, That's let's, not the let's, let's deduce, right? Let's deduce. We that, can't. As, as, a, as a woman, as a woman, um, what would be a turnoff about somebody's hands? Before they engaged at all? Before they, in, like, I'm, I'm talking about. Uh, so do you recall that there was no... There was no contact between your hands and the genitals prior to the rejection. Yes. You're certain. I am certain. I'm talking about she was uh, bottomless. It could be that they've had so many negative experiences with hands that they're just like, don't even bother. Mm -hmm. Because most people, which they are not, most yeah. people are not great at this activity. And then he would be right because he's saying it's not his hands, it's just hands. Right. Yes. Yeah. Then but he would be right. it also could have been she didn't like the way your hands looked. I've never assessed somebody's like looked at their hands and like they're not going to be good. No, I never. In, in a situation, I will know first off before you even reach towards me. I've already evaluated all of you. I'm looking at your hands, your hair, your, your skin, the way you smell, your teeth, all of that. So, do I know your performance is going to be good based off of how nicely manicured and clean your hands are? Of course not. Yeah. But if you've already are in this area and it is not good and the hand has moved away, it's not the length of your nails or how clean your hands are. It is the technique or for whatever reason, That's a great it point. is not working out. They would have had to have been moved away because they were inching down well, there. He's saying he never got to do it. But he yes. was on the way. Uh. Yes, that's what I'm saying. He was on route <laughs> and they rerouted him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So she was bottomless on the bed. I went to put my hand there, she said, and she put my hands away. So as women... Every what do you say would potentially be the reason for that? That could be past trauma. There's a lot of things that happen with what people like and don't like. Which means I was right. No, you're not listening. <laughs> but, but arguably, what, what, yes, one of the you scenarios. Were right. You were right against Shannon. Shannon said <laughs> your hands specifically. Yeah. What the this was all about was you saying your hands are great and they're this and they're that. It's no longer about that specific girl. Yeah, yeah. It's about you focus on the wrong things when it comes to giving hand to a lady. Oh, yeah. That's what all this was about. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, <laughs> well, I know that. <laughs> can, we just, can we talk about how beautiful. Happy birthday, Tim. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tim. <laughs> I love that's, that's what I, no, that's, no, no, no. That's what I was trying to say from the beginning is we agree. I realize I know that like I know that fucking your long fingernails don't affect how you fucking rub a clitoris. I know that, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't I can't wait till you watch this back and hear the things you say. Do you know what you should watch it back for? Against. How loving it is that your friend knows you so well that from the beginning of this conversation said you are never gonna get Tim to admit. <laughs> and here we are twenty minutes later. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Tim's asking me about scenarios that have nothing to do with the question. No, I. You know what? I disagree. <laughs> what? I disagree. Have it. Bro. I think. I think everything I asked you and y'all was a valid question. It. 
It was. You, I just think you were more focused on what Shannon was saying okay. and not what Nikki was trying <laughs> to put you up on game on. You couldn't handle this negativity coming from Shannon. And then you just couldn't listen to the rest of what was going on. It's the guest's fault. Maybe I should leave. (laughs) I don't know, ma'am. You did well. All right, look, look. Just watch it back later, bro. (laughs) Let's move on. No, here, here. Okay, we got, um, we got, here, let's, let's, let's just play it back. Let's play it back and listen. (laughs) (laughs) He's calling, time out, time out, coach, time out. Run it, run the tape back. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm not hearing y'all. I don't know what it is. You know what? As I can throw a little curveball in here. Um, I had a baby recently. Tim, you had a baby recently. Congratulations. I, I did. And your hands you. are probably involved in that. So there you go. Good hands. A little, a little <laughs> bit. No, I mean, you're yeah. awesome. You don't have to tell me that. <laughs> I know amazing. I have amazing hands, <laughs> which are also very clean. And the nails are always very short, um, which actually, if you guys don't know, helps you create children faster mm-hmm. if you have short fingernails yeah. okay well done <laughs> well that explains a lot and i do know from talking to you that you conceived immediately upon um trying yeah yeah, you've yeah. got incredible sperm you have great hands super sperm. we're very happy to have you it's, you're humble i said it's, that, it's your birth it's i said birthday. that from the beginning and uh i, I said that, that i had super sperm and and here's the thing guys aside from the fact that it's my birthday um, it's not going to change the fact that I have amazing hands. I'm going to make the same <laughs> argument every time. Okay, let me tell my story. Let me tell my story. Um, so I did an episode of Sexology about the A spot. And okay. the A spot is about two inches past the G spot. And mm-hmm. so it's around the interior fornix of the cervix. And so a fornix is an archway. So essentially you have the cervix here, then you have this like archway that goes around it. Right. And so the A spot is like a little nook in there. Mm-hmm. So people who even get anal can yeah. access the a spot because you can access it from the back so we had this whole episode on it and i was like i don't i don't have this fucking spot i don't have this sensation fast forward had a baby one of our like first sex sessions back we had sex in my office on the ground and something was happening with the hands down there that i had never experienced before and then i asked jared like yo what was that like that was an orgasm for the books and he said i didn't clip my nails yeah. <laughs> i was gonna say the same shit he said it was a spot um oh. so i'm curious are you guys so i'm out with, in your cervix like so it's not you know it's around so it's like the it's almost like the casing of the cervix so the cervix is here and then around it it's actually got an additional area like a little bit of it's almost like you can get your finger in there okay the way you're doing it it looks like it's past the yeah cervix. it may it's so like th- where's the penis coming from here or there so if you have a cervix here mm. then think of it the rim think of it as a rim around the cervix okay which way okay circular this, this is your cervix yes where, if a penis was to touch the cervix where would it come from is here under? here here the penis will come from here okay so this a spot is where it's around here how do you get there? Yeah. You use your middle finger, so your longest finger, and then you jam, and then you go forward. So you need to... Oh, yeah, been there. That's happened before. Oh, that's what that was? Did you enjoy it? Woo. You know who you are. Yeah, that's awesome. A for awesome. A for A awesome. For awesome. <laughs> I didn't... I've never heard of that before. A for also anal. In case someone's interested, uh, <laughs> that is a method that you can also access. The and it is spot. also your birthday, so you should try new things. Huh, I mean, I don't want anything up my butt. Um, so it's like, I'm, I'm cool on okay, that. Okay, do it from your cervix. <laughs> <laughs> you man, got options. Ah, uh, man, like, uh, man, sir, the, y'all, y'all are so, it's, it's so much going on down there. There's a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 a, it's a whole lot. I, uh, I, I feel like I definitely... Um, I don't know if I've ever, uh, uh, been into an A spot area. You feel me? Yeah. It's like, y'all, it's just, it's just, it's a, it's a whole lot going on. Well, in it's, there. I mean, that makes it more fun, more yeah. fun for everyone. Cause it's more to explore. Can you get there with a penis? You, it's difficult because it's a narrow region. Mm. So a toy would be better. And then a finger is optimal. Yeah. I, I'm not, maybe a penis is possible. If it's skinny. If it's skinny, <laughs> if it's skinny and leans forward, if it's crooked, which I know yours is. Yeah, yeah, so. but mine goes to the right, so I'd have well, to. Well, yeah, no. Tim's just, upside down. He's like, listen, yeah. we're going to the A spot. Yeah, 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 we're going to the A, A town down. Uh, I was gonna ask because the, you know it is complicated. There's a lot going on. Have you ever went back to someone that you knew, 
wasn't going to be good in a relationship, but they knew your body so well that you were willing to throw it all away just because they were good at your body. Oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of compartmentalized relationships. Oh, wow. I will go back to someone to play chess with them if that's what we were great at together. Mm-hmm. And that will be it, though. So I'm a big fan of like, we had great sex. That doesn't mean that like, I'm going to also promote you to the person I bring as my plus one because mm-hmm. you're shitty in public. So I'm not going to do that. But 100%, I think if you have somebody who's knows your body, like that's what fuck, it's not even a fuck, uh, fuck buddy. Cause you're not even friends. Yeah. Just fuck acquaintance. Fuck acquaintance. <laughs> <laughs> that's what my fuck FA. acquaintance are F-A. for. F-A. That's an F-A. That's what yeah. F-A's are for. I, I've F-A. had some, uh, some fuck buddies in the past, but I, I, I draw the line at um, chess buddies. I feel like it gets a little too intimate <laughs> and it gets really messy once you open that door. I can see that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's levels to this. There's levels to it. Once we're playing games with each other, I don't know yeah. what to do. Uh, you play chess for real? I do play chess for real. Like, <laughs> not like Queen's Gambit played chess. Yo, it got it got so much hype. Do you Queen's know Gambit? that there was a one thousand percent increase on Amazon in chess game purchases I because of that show? Everybody mm-hmm. was fucking talking about chess all of yeah. a sudden. It was like Asians in golf for the past year. It's crazy. And everybody in cryptocurrency. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Leave me alone, all right? I really still believe in what we're building here, okay? Hey, Maze Your Eyes. Uh-huh. All day. Okay? Oh, hey, I'm with you. Dogecoin to the moon. Let's get <laughs> no, it. No, forget that one. We're kicking the dog to the curb. It's still Bitcoin forever and altcoin season. Uh, Anyways. I'm going to send you something later. That might no, I don't want to hear it, okay? I am in hodl mode and I'm not even looking at my phone. Don't talk to me, Rick. Don't ruin me, all right? Thank you. I used to play chess with my pops growing up and, um, and I thought, I was so fucking smart for being the only kid in class that knew how to play chess. Like, oh, y'all playing checkers? Cool, 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 cool. Did you know that this moves in an L shape, motherfucker? What the fuck? Yeah. I never even watched Queen's Gambit. You watched Queen's Gambit? I did not. No. I did. It was good. I liked it. Yeah, so it was all about chess. It was. I, mean, I heard people the, who say that were like, it's literally just it's, about it's chess. It's just, it is just about chess and the way that she is humbled actually by the experience. She said chess. Yeah. I said chess. <laughs> I'm thinking about I boobs. Gonna say All right, saying. listen, we've been talking about spots and stuff. Now I'm thinking about boobies and she was cute in the movie. All right. I'm just, okay. I'm just thrown off. Do you know okay. what I learned this year? My husband is a Valentine's person. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> It's too late. It's too late to go back. We got a kid together. Invite me to the divorce. Yeah. <laughs> Rick's going to be sitting there like, is it time? That, is, it is it Valentine's? Is it Valentine's? Not in that way. <laughs> Valentine's. Happy New Year's. Oh, oh hey, I'm sorry. I had S's to everything. I don't care. I oh. had S's on everything. I'm Filipino and Hawaiian. We throw the S's around like it doesn't belong. Damn. Anyway. Just yeah. throwing S's around. That's messed All up. Of <laughs> You're not black? No. <laughs> I just put this in the group chat two days ago. I just put it in the group chat two days ago. Rick? Uh, I mean, yeah, people people ask that. Yeah, hashtag but, Danny Leg. But. No, Whoa, it, no, 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 And don't put me in the same category as her with no, everything I'm, she got going on. I'm not, I'm not categorizing, but you um, phenotypically look similar. Mm. So then that, that, that's. ambiguous. Yeah. But the thing is, damn near every episode of yeah. this. She finds some way to say her. I I, I always I always say I am Hawaiian, Chinese, Filipino, and Irish, and I say it all the time because people just assume. I don't know, maybe it's how I dress or what. There's, no, it's how there's, you look. It's, it's how, how you I look. look. Yeah. yeah, and there's not a lot of us, right? There's not a lot of people that actually even say that they're mixed when they are. So people are confused. So yes, I get thrown into that. But I bring it up often because people get offended at times when they find out that I'm not black and they feel like they were lied to. But I go, I say it purposely <laughs> and it's in my bio because I get such a negative reaction when people find out that I'm not. Do people get mad at you when you do the Filipino accent? No, they're <laughs> like, oh they're my like, God, that is so amazing. black girl. <laughs> I also was gonna say I feel like mixed people say they're mixed all the time. You know what I'm saying? But, when but I, they don't say they're mixed. They don't say they're mixed. Oh, that, that's yeah. that's why there was a point in time in the comment section they were so annoyed. They're like, why does she always say she's Hawaiian, Chinese, and Filipino? Like, why? We get it. You're mixed. I'm like, no, you don't get it because mixed, every new viewer because like, mixed. Talk like right. Yes, because right. when I say I mixed, or people say, oh, are you mixed? They're just gonna assume because that's all people. think think of when you hear that term yeah. so because there is a lack of representation as far as even polynesians and just mixed people in general that are more than one thing i always say it because this happens yeah you know what you got that was do. an enjoyable speech it was yeah. very well done thank you i do it all the damn time <laughs> you have to just super um 
appropriate your own cultures, right? <laughs> so we knew this girl, Tim. It was one of Tim's friends. She was uh, black and Mexican, so she said, but she didn't look Mexican <laughs> at all. But she uh, went hard to put out Mexican. She would. Mm. Just, what did her shirt say? I'm a Mexican, not a Mexican. She wore a okay. shirt that okay. said, I'm a Mexican, not a Mexican. <laughs> she had the accent. <laughs> No. No. Uh, well, this is a special case, and mm. I, I'll tell you why. Um, because from the jump, okay, this was a girl I used to uh, mess Canoodle with. Canoodle with. Canoodle you could just say okay. your usual statement. And uh, what happened was, I, I from the jump, when I met her, when I approached her, I assumed and thought she was mixed with black, right? And But she was like, once we started talking and hanging out, she was like, no, I'm 100% Mexican. I was like, oh, that's, that's interesting. And so what ended up happening, right, years and years later, when she thought to her core that she was 100% Mexican, she found letters written to her mom from her real father, who oh. was black. And she was like, mom, what is this? And her mom was like, Mija, I'm sorry. <laughs> I never told you, but your real father is black. And she had this whole, like, holy shit, who am I moment yeah. in her life because she really thought she was 100% Mexican. I, but, I had that But everybody who saw her was but like, if you but you're saw black. her. Yeah. And she's yeah. like, no. I, no. I genuinely feel like she questioned herself. Have you seen... We know a lot of Mexicans. Yes. Have you seen anybody else wear a shirt that says I'm a Mexican? Yeah, no. Right, Mexican. going OD on it. You know I know, I, mean? I know, I know. I mean, growing up, there was a point in time where I looked at my siblings and I had to ask my parents. I said, am I adopted? Because I didn't yeah. look like my brother and sister, but I looked just like my grandma. And on my mom's side, that's where the Filipino, uh, the Filipino side comes from, Hawaiian Filipino. We had a conversation and said, somewhere down the line, there's probably some other stuff put in. You you probably mm. mix with some other things, so just be very well aware. But I was like, but why don't my sister and brother look like this? Yeah. I have a photo of my grandma, and I look just like her. So that's how I always knew my dad was my dad, and my mom was my mom. But growing up, I didn't even know who to identify with. It was like, I get treated a type of way, but when I say I'm Hawaiian, there's no other Hawaiians. Yeah. So people are looking at you, but your hair looks like this, your skin is like this, so we're going to throw you in this category. So I've always understood why people see me a type of way, and then that's who I've always gravitated towards, too. Because right. Hawaiians don't necessarily look at me and think Hawaiian. Yeah. They look at me and <laughs> go, no, you say you're that, black. I can see Hawaiian. Now. Once, once she says it. Once yeah. she says it, yeah. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. oh. And then we'll have, like, Sherry come on, and I'll be like, Hey, I'm Chinese. She's like, no, you're not. And I'm like, yes, I am. I'm like, here's my grandpa. She goes, oh, you are. Okay. It's so funny because I remember in high school one time I was <laughs> I was in Spanish class. There was a black girl sitting behind me, and I was dancing. I was listening to my headphones. I was dancing, right? And then she said something to me, and I stopped and I talked to her, and then I and I started grooving again. And she was like, Tim, are you half black? And I was like, <laughs> and she was serious. And I was like, what are you talking about? And she was like, cause you got back on rhythm. <laughs> And I was like, what? Uh, <laughs> you definitely could be mistaken as a Filipino. Oh, thousand, I mean, yeah, yeah, thousand, thousand percent. percent. That. And yeah, Filipinos yeah. are incredible dancers. Yes. Phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. Phenomenal. That is writers. a very good stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> and can sing. And can sing. Phenomenal penmanship. I don't get that one. Just... Wait, what? Is that what? real? All Filipinos that I know have phenomenal penmanship. Why are you looking at people's writings? I don't know. I was, I don't she know. got a lot of letters from Filipino boys right. going yeah, on. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. Got some love letters. <laughs> uh, I'm old, okay? I grew up when we used to have to write, so I saw writing. Letters Yo, was a... I think we're the same uh, age. You I miss writing. letters. <laughs> I miss letters. Don't I wish I had an age no, you said, me. You said I know, like right now. First of all, y'all are the same age, so yes. it's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Second of all, uh, letters were lit. Still are. Send me a letter. Ugh. Well, I, I never got that. letters from Filipino girls because we didn't have Filipino <laughs> girls where I was at. Yeah. Only Cambodian girls, and they didn't write nice. <laughs> they wrote like they were tagging. <laughs> <laughs> what were you about to say? Um, how much time? Because I had this anxiety of like, are we almost finished? So we got we a good, new topic. Or no, we got we a good stop? ten minutes on this one, so we could. Uh, you oh, know. We just oh, talk, oh, we just oh, ramble. oh, yeah, we rant a lot. Yeah. Okay, understood. She's structured. especially when it gets on sex or race stuff all the time, yeah. which we've hit both. We actually yeah. then should talk about your shoes because the bathroom. Oh was yeah. 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 So, as you guys can see, I Rick has it. these very sought oh, after, very rare, very resold for a lot of money, mm -hmm. ones on. Yeah. And um, 
break him, break the There's news to him. There's a secret. They're fake. Wow. I These can't. are replicas. I can't even. And you can't tell. And mine aren't. You can zoom. You can take a <laughs> screenshot and look. You will not be able to tell. I heard that. <laughs> try, to, try to flex. But here's the thing. So. <laughs> So I really want some uh, shattered backboards. You know mm. what those are, correct? Yes, they're sir. these, but they're orange, orange and white, black. and black. Yeah, beautiful. But they never get re-released, and if you find them anywhere, they're over a thousand dollars all the time. I'm mm. not paying that much for some damn shoes, right? right? So I'm like, you know what? I've been seeing a lot of people post replicas, and they don't look that bad. So I went searching. And I decided to buy me a couple of pair just to see if the quality is good. I brought some fours, Ooh. some bread fours from China. Terrible. As soon, <laughs> as, soon as I opened Those the Those don't package, come out the house. The, no, they're literally my in-house shoes. <laughs> but the box was terrible. I opened it up. I could spot so many things. I'm like, God, get the fuck out of here. So I found this other website. And these come from Dubai. Okay. Mm. I can't say the website because technically it's illegal. <laughs> So I ain't gonna put nobody on blast, but yeah, I'm a replica guy now. Wow. Because, How much they cost? Um, so here's the annoying part: they still cost the same as retail when you factor in shipping. So what, like? <laughs> but it's not resale, so I'm cool with that. Like what, one twenty, something mm, like that. Yeah, about like one sixty, one forty. Yeah, when it goes. comes to yeah. Enter, yeah. Well, because I walked in and I. This is my opportunity to show off my shoes whenever we get a chance to sit down. <laughs> yes, I brought these ones out today. And as soon as I did, I always look at Rick's shoes to see what he's going to wear. Mm -hmm. Tim has nice sneakers, but it just depends on the day. He's not like it bringing the sneakers to set. Like, this is a different vibe. This is the... Uh, yeah, if you, you got know, the babes you know. on right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Tim is, if you know, you know, and I, as soon as I sat down, because of course I'm like, hey, look what I got on today. And I'm waiting for Rick to notice my shoes. <laughs> and then I look at Rick's shoes and I'm like, oh, you did it. And then he was like, Wait, I got more to tell you. Well, that's what's interesting is I, I'm not like a hardcore sneakerhead either, but mm -hmm. I also looked down and, and knew what it was. We you knew. Know? I was like, oh, you got those. So here's the funny thing. I bought these like a little over a month ago just because I was just looking to see Ooh. what they had. And I was like, all right, let me see the quality on these. And then by the time they got here, these were coming out. I was like, oh, look at me accidentally on time. Right. <laughs> I'm the type of person that I got recently hooked up with uh, DJ Kong who works with Shoe Palace. So I'm mm -hmm. very lucky to get shoes. Now the resale, like Rick was talking about, it's insane. It's and then you heard, and you guys heard about the stuff that happened with the yeah. son from Nike yeah. uh, who was buying up all the stuff. And it's a big thing if you're in the sneaker world, how devastating it is yeah. to want a pair of shoes and not be able to get them. Then somebody buys them up and then resells them for like six times the actual yeah. price. So when you come in and you spot shoes that you know, I wanted those, and I actually posted those on my Instagram story mm -hmm. the other day to try to hit my connect to see, see if I, I can't do it. It's too late, Rick. You said they were fake. I can't do it now. Bro, you cannot. T I promise you. you I, think it all, I think it all comes down to just kind of how you feel internally. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And I, I personally... I don't know if I could do the yeah. the, yeah. the fake ones. I'd rather not no have problem. them. For, for me, I just would rather not have them because yeah. I'm around so many sneakerheads that are really ingrained in the culture yeah. that it would just be so disrespectful. But it like, would be I, such an amazing thing for them not to know, knowing <laughs> that these people. It, but like, he who pays the same, love a good scam. But, but he pays no. But he pays the same price. I get mine for free, so that's a whole nother thing. I'm not gonna yeah. pay now. For fake, I would pay for the if, satisfaction of the scam if you're though. Getting real ones for free, then you can't say I, anything. I can't about say anything. anything. No, <laughs> I, no, I like them. That's why I was like, yeah. that's dope. But like how Tim was saying, I just am at the point I'd rather yeah. not have something well, see, than thing. to have the. So I still have the respect for the sneaker culture. That's why I would never be like, you oh, didn't yeah, lie. they're real. Yeah, you didn't <laughs> lie. They're real. I'm gonna let you know. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time. I'm not going to fight bots. No, and you can crease or, your shoes. You mean you can walk in yeah, your shoes and no I, one's going to get I still got you? shields in them, though. You do <laughs> have shields? Okay, yeah, yeah. that's respect. But, um, yeah, I mean, like, fighting bots. Uh, yeah. well, now, now that dude is gone, mm -hmm, that should open I, might, up the... I might try okay. to get some regular. But, yeah, now, fighting bots or paying resale? Nah, I mean, Would you rock, like, a fake Rolex? No. no. Okay, what's the difference? Um, So, a, Rolo a Rolex is worth something. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I mean, same with sneakers, but I could wear my Rolex and years later I could sell it, you know what I'm saying? Or give it to my kid and it would still have value. They can make some money off of it. Shoes, you can still make money off of it. Most of the time, if you don't wear it, 
You know what I'm saying? Or if it's like a really sought after sneaker where they don't care, they just want a pair of it. Yeah. But yeah, so it's and I would like, argue a fake Rolex is like a fake degree on your wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because there's so much status attached right. to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And That's a good like, way to put it. And I just I don't like fake jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. I said about the fucking diamonds the yeah, last yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. I was like, no, nah, what the hell is that? So I brought real ones, you know. Mm-hmm. For this you um, feel like a shoe is a shoe. shoe. Yeah. Okay. Because it's kind of disposable, right? Like you can actually wear and I'm I bring up the creases because it's such a, if you crease the sneaker, people lose their minds. They're like, that's just disrespectful. But you actually can wear your shoes without a lot of the pressure that comes with knowing that you might have $2,000 sneakers on your feet. And it's the same materials. These shoes would cost $2,000 somewhere. Um, Um, About $50. Probably not these. <laughs> How much are the resale on those? I haven't seen yet. What size do you wear? I'm an 11 and a half. That's also a problem. Yeah, so you have to check sizes. Half, yeah. I'm a seven it's, and a half youth. Yeah. So my size is super popular, which makes it more expensive. Girl, Same. try to get an eight and a half, nine. All these <laughs> yeah. Filipino dudes, my <laughs> size, them shits are gone in two, two seconds. seconds. Bruh, I'll see some shoes and it'll be like 325. And I'm like, I don't want to, but I will. And then I go to my size and it's like seven eighty. Like, <laughs> How are you, you on stock yeah. X? I already know stock those numbers. X, That's go. stock X like, numbers. Get out of here, bro. Yeah. So yeah, with these, I'm just like, it's a shoe. It's the same material. It like, looks good. You can't tell. Maybe, maybe the Nike sign is a little bit lower. Just, just a tad <laughs> okay, okay, I have a compared question. to my other ones. So shoe surgeon and a lot of the people that are taking the sneakers and flipping them, how do you feel about that? And that's the thing. Like nobody cares about that. Okay. And it's like, okay, so why do you care about about this? You know what I'm okay. saying? People buy those um all white ones and paint them up and shit like that or put different material on it and they got them some dope customs, you know. It's kind of the same thing to me. Okay. I know a lot of people are going to be pissed off at this. So. That's why yeah. I went and but I touched on that I don't one, give too. A fuck about you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Well, I mean, I think at the end of the day, what's most important is that I have amazing hands. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching another episode of the No Chaser Podcast. Thank you to Shan Boudreran for stopping by. She's going to stick around for another one, I think. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'm Tim Chantharongsu. I'm Ricky Shucks. I'm Nikki Blaze. Bye. We didn't do that in the intro. I'm Shan We Bowie. did not. <laughs>